Hey, it's Jason. I'm with my Bach Reef Supply 6-stage RODI filtration system. I use this for my fish tank. Um, I have a large saltwater aquarium, which I've talked about before. And this gives me a very low TDS water um, reading. Um, total dissolved solids is what TDS stands for. And with a reef tank, you ideally want it at zero TDS. But my pressure gauge is bad, and this is really important because you want good pressure to make RODI water. And the reason why it's important for me, I'm on a well, and if a lot of things are calling water, my overall pressure might be low. So if I go to make RODI water and my pressure isn't where I want it to go because somebody hopped in the shower or there's a hose running outside, I know not to make it because that won't give me the proper TDS I need because I won't have the adequate pressure going through the system to filter all of the wastewater out and only put the good water in the bucket. So with the bad gauge, I bought a new one from Bulk Reef Supply and I'm going to show it comes with all the fittings, but that's already hooked up. All I have to do is thread the new one on. So I just want to talk about the process to do that. Okay, to get the old one off, I'm just using a 15 millimeter wrench to hold the meter. And then I'm just using these vice grips to basically loosen up the bottom. So then that should separate the gauge from the bottom fitting. And it really wasn't on though that tight. You can begin to just loosen it by hand. Um, so you don't need to get too aggressive with uh, tightening it back up because from Balk Reef, it obviously wasn't on that tight. And it's a plastic fitting. So if you over tighten it when you put it back on, you're going to have issues. So again, all I did was I'm removing the gauge from the new kit, unscrewing it from the old one, and then I'll put that gauge back on. So I have the old one off. That was not reading any PSI. You can see they have some plumber's um, tape on it, which I also have for my new meter. Um, but the new gauge actually has a little bit on it. I'll just put a small strip and then I'm going to fit that through and then just thread it on the bottom. As you can see, I have the new one in. Just put it through the hole, thread that back on, and that's pretty much going to be the process. Let me finish tightening it back up. Okay, so that's with the meter, or I should say the gauge, back on. That's the old one. It just threads off. And then you can see here the new one installed. So obviously I need to get the rest of the filters hooked back up and test it to make sure there's no leaks. But uh, it shouldn't leak. I put it on just like it was when it came off. So I hope this was helpful. Be sure to check out my blog, www.jamsjamz.net.